electric field is the force experienced by a unit positive charge. So the best way to represent them is through lines, through vector fields. And those lines are called as field lines, yeah, electric field lines. So how does it look for the two different charges that we are looking at, the plus and the minus? If I have a plus Q charge, if I bring in plus one Coulomb here, what's the direction it's going to move? It's going to move away from it. So it's clearly going to move away. If I bring in a plus one here, it's going to move away. If I go a plus one, it's going to move away. Plus one here, it's going to move away. So it's like the sun radiating out, right? So field lines of a positive charge are going to be looking like this. If it's plus, then it's going to be moving away. So clearly you can see that this vector field, the divergence of it is going to be divergence of this is positive. Now, how about imagine the negative field line. If I were to bring in a plus one Coulomb here, is it going to get attracted or repelled? It's going to get attracted, right? So the force acting on that charge is going to be in this direction. So this, if I bring in a plus one, it's going to get attracted because this guy is negative now. So in this case, all the electric field lines are going to be going towards the charge. And this guy divergence is going to be negative, right? Because it's like a sink. It's going to attract everything in. So that's a vector field, right? Electric field. You go and take the divergence of that electric field. Huh? You will get negative for this case and positive for this case. Mathematically, they will be correct. So this kind of point charge is also called as a monopole. Yeah? Mono means one. Mono means one. It's only one, either plus one or minus one, plus charge or minus charge. It's called as a point charge. It's only at a certain point in space. So if you have a group of charges, then <clears throat> it's pretty straightforward. Like what we saw for the force, it's going to be a summation. If I have N charges, then it's going to be I equal to one to N, the electric field due to individual charges, individual electric field due to individual charges. That means E1 plus E2 plus E3 plus E3 and so on at a certain location R. So if you have a pair of charges, plus and minus, right? You call that as a dipole. Di means two. Dipole. When you have two plus and minus. So that means, right, if I were to bring in a plus charge here, huh, it's going to repel out of this guy. As this guy repels out, right? It starts to see this negative guy who is going to attract him. So instead of this alone, if it had been just this alone, he would have been radially gone out like that. But because of this guy, right? As he moves away, this guy starts to attract. That force gets more. So he starts to bend and comes here. So that's how you start the field lines. You kind of imagine how the field lines take shape. Yeah? You can go ahead and visualize. These, these lines can never cut each other. They cannot cut each other. Those lines will never cut each other. They should always start from positive, start from positive charge and end at negative. Like what you see here, it should start from positive and end at negative. Lab. 